So what I'm going to do today is this. I'm going to show you a simple method to sketch dot and cross diagrams for simple covalent molecules. And I call this the Velcro method, right? Okay. So it's not something that you learn in schools, but I think it will help to shorten the time you need to draw a dot and cross diagram. All right. So dot. So let's assume you're given a slightly more complicated molecule like hydrogen cyanide, and you're asked to sketch the dot and cross diagram. Now what you need to do first is figure out the number of valence electrons each element has, all right? And ask yourself how many electrons it needs to gain to become stable. Hydrogen needs to gain one, and therefore it will form one bond. Carbon needs to gain four electrons, therefore it will form four bonds, all right? And nitrogen needs to gain three electrons, and therefore it will form three bonds, okay? Now, like little pieces of Velcro, what you then want to do is you want to connect all of them together. Try and connect all these bonds together to get one big molecule. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, okay? And notice how all the bonds are now used up, like little pieces of Velcro, they're all stuck together. And this is how your molecule will look like. Once you can get here, you can then go ahead and draw your dot and cross diagram. Between hydrogen and carbon, you have one bond, so that's one pair of electrons. Between carbon and hydrogen, you have three bonds, that's three pairs. Alright, so I hope this short video has shown you how to draw dot and cross diagrams using the Velcro method. See you next time.